The labor shortage is still taking a toll on companies across the capital area. And many owners are looking for new ways to get help. And NBC Local 33's Rachel Riley is in studio with more tonight. Rachel? Well, since the pandemic, businesses have had a hard time finding workers. Two years later, we're now seeing more companies giving former inmates a second chance. One man I talked to today has done just that. There's nothing like that first paycheck. When you get that first paycheck for something you've earned, Benito Castro spent four years in a Louisiana corrections facility for fraud relating to a gambling addiction. But during his time, he also earned a degree. It seemed that my incarceration was made worthwhile. He climbed the ladder at Ideal Market pretty quickly, starting off washing dishes. Then uh, someone hired me to manage a uh, meat department of a supermarket. While there, I met the owners of Ideal. They asked me if I wanted to manage one of their stores, which I did. Castro now serves as the operations director for Ideal Market and helps recruit other inmates to the company. Out of 19 hires, 16 still with us, two moved on to better positions. He says he's seen more and more companies looking into this massive labor pool. It started with a few and now there are dozens he works with. You have cooks, uh, caterers, I mean, welders, everything. They tend to be more loyal. They tend to be more appreciative. They tend to work harder uh, in many cases. Department of Corrections Assistant Secretary Rhett Covington says their Return for Good program securely connects inmates with employers. To um, answer, stuff, answer questions through a monitored email system with employers who can also register their profile post job. The state will soon have technology for inmates and employers to meet face to face more often. 18 employers and the Corrections Department held a virtual job fair last week. There were 26 job offers and nearly 100 people who will be called back for an interview. Rachel Riley, NBC Local 33 News. All right, Rachel, a lot of information there. Thanks so much for that tonight.